Three years ago, when I gave the NEET paper, I scored an All India rank of 885 in the first attempt. What if I told you that instead of just working hard day and night, preparing for one exam and only one exam in my mind, I had one secret tool which actually helped me predict around 50 questions of the NEET 2018 paper. It might feel a bit strange to you at first, but the longer I keep talking, the more it's gonna make sense. If you didn't know me, hi, my name is Anuj. I'm a finally MBBS student at Government Medical College Nagpur, and welcome to the channel. So you have to understand this basic phenomena that whenever you're creating something original, it all starts with inspiration from something else. Once you start doing it, you add your own touch and own feel to it. And so whatever you create becomes original in your own way. To be honest, it was never original to begin with. It was just your way of doing it. In fact, every single thing that you've ever seen in your life, be it art, be it buildings, be it sofa, chair, badminton, whatever, all of these start with inspiration. And that inspiration can be anything. Very, very rarely will you find an idea which nobody has ever thought of. Very rarely will you find something which nobody has ever seen. Those are really, really life-changing things. And when that happens, the entire human population just goes one level up. For example, the introduction of use of silicon for semiconductors was a very big leap in humanity because somebody thought of something original to do. But these changes don't happen so frequently. Whatever myself, whatever you are thinking right now, all of this has been a process of inspiration from so many different things that we see around. The same way that nothing can be original, every single question that you're ever going to be asked in NEET has already been asked before in a different form, in a different format, in a different way of asking, in a different language. All you have to do is find out what these questions are and once you have done that, you will be one step closer to predicting the actual question paper. Now this video is not about how to crack NEET in 3 months, nor is it to increase your marks by 300. Because unfortunately that is just not possible, which apparently every other YouTuber won't tell you about. Because I'll tell you, when I was in class 12th, the only thing I had in my mind was how do I get the most marks in my NEET examination? How should I practice so that every question that I touch will be correct? What speed should I drive my vehicle from my home to my tuition class so that I could say 5-10 minutes and go and ask that one extra doubt to that teacher? Or how many volumes of exams should I give before entering the NEET hall? And after all of that effort, I got All India Rank 885. I cannot even begin to imagine the efforts that All India Rank 1, 2 or single digit people put. So if anybody is telling you that you can do it in 3 months, they are probably lying and they are getting a lot of money from it. Demotivating? No bro. It's the harsh reality which you must accept sooner or later. With that out of the mind, let's begin with the first chapter. The Mindset of the Examiner most of the questions of any competitive examination are inspired from the questions which came before because it is really really easy to just copy a question do some changes in it rather than go ahead make an entirely brand new type of question which nobody has seen which might get rejected in the screening round of that question being accepted into the question paper each paper of need contains questions which are made by different examiners all of these examiners submit their questions for screening and once the screening round is done the questions are selected a question paper is formed so the examiner does the simple thing and takes the inspiration from the previous year question papers and he takes the questions out, remodels them, reframes them and puts them in the new question paper. In fact, most of the examination that you're going to encounter in your life, be it MBBS exam, NEET exam or some other exam, even if you solve the previous 20 years question papers, that will be the most valuable, fruitful exercise for you because most of the questions are going to be coming from there, if not all of them. But in MBBS and if you just master the important topics, I'm not really sure how good of a doctor you'll become, but I'm pretty sure that you will definitely pass the exam. I'll show you a real life example of how this is done. You see this question, now you see this other one. Do you see anything similar in this? Exactly. They're almost the same type of question, the pattern is same, only the numericals are changed. And that's how you make a new question, which is derived from an old question and most of the questions will be like this. So you might ask me, so Anuj, is there no new question ever added to the NEET examination? Isn't that a paradox? Well, to be honest, only 10% of the questions will be there which are extremely novel, and out of that, only 5% will be there which are extremely difficult. The new, the remaining 5% will be easy questions which are new. The remaining 80 to 90% will be inspired from the previous year questions. Now, these top 10% questions are to be only solved by the toppers, solved by the people who have actually studied their examination, and solved by the people who are going to hold the top ranks, such as 1, 2, 3, all the way to 10. Chapter 2 The Magic of Mistakes Now out of the questions that you're solving every single day for practicing, which ones do you think the examiner is going to put on the paper? Well, the examiner is going to put those questions which you are most likely to get wrong, the questions which are a bit tricky, the questions which are a bit difficult to solve. So guess what I did? I made a book, a mistake book. See, whenever I made a mistake in a question or whenever it took me a lot long to solve the question or whenever it felt to me that this question is one of the novel varieties, I used to write that question down in my mistake book. This book contained questions from only the previous year papers. 
So I solved the previous year question papers once or twice. I made a ton of mistakes, wrote all of these mistakes down in my mistake book. Because you might feel like you remember a concept and remember how to solve a question, but six months later, if I ask you the same question, if you have no practice of that, you would probably never be able to solve it. Because our mind is very poor at storing things in our long-term memory unless and until we reinforce it through spaced repetition. So that's what I did. When I, once I made a mistake book, I used to read it every single day, once or twice, at least six months before the examinations. I used to revise every single mistake which I did. What people do is they practice 50,000 different questions but they don't remember how to solve them after they have made a mistake in that they just see like okay this is a mistake i'll remember it Mujhe next time mistake nahi karne. but that's not how it works your mind will remember it for a short period of time you will remember it for two hours you'll remember it for two days but you will definitely forget that and you will make the same mistake once again so how do we make that book we'll just take a 400 pages notebook and name it the mistake book what question should you write in that book well mostly previous year question papers which are difficult for you to solve or which you have gotten wrong or which took you a lot longer to solve because all all of these could be asked in your examination. How much explanation should there be per question, as much as you require, so that you don't make the same mistake twice? And is it only valid for NEET? Well, no, it is definitely not valid only for NEET. This is my mistake book for NEET PG or NEXT. And you can basically make this for any single competitive examination that you want to. So previous year papers repeat themselves and they will only ask you the things which you are most likely going to be mistaken in. Guess what happens when you connect these dots? You end up with a book which has previous year question papers which you will most likely make a mistake in. This is one book which will help you clear every single competitive examination. So what are your actionable steps right here? Solve the past 20 years of question papers of NEET right now in the next 20 days. Record all your mistakes in your mistake book. Revise your mistake book every single day at least once or twice and make sure that you know whatever questions you're writing, they are the correct ones because if you write an incorrect question, you're going to solve it incorrectly. Lastly, put your entire heart, put your entire mind into that one thing that is doing all the questions correct in the NEET examination. Don't think which college you want. Don't think about Ames, Delhi, AFM, CKAM, GMC. Don't think about all of that. Think about just one and only one thing that you need to get all the questions correct. Because once you get this to work, once you clear need, your entire life changes because you transition from a student to a medical student. And that word medical is going to cost you so much of your time, energy, hard work, and only and only the people who are able to do that will only be able to call themselves as medical students. Chapter four, how to predict a paper. For this, you will need paper analysis. You will need to know what kind of questions are asked from each chapter. You will need to know how many questions are asked from each chapter. For that, one of the great books which I would recommend to you is Oswald's previous year question papers. What they've done is from 2008 all the way till now, whatever neat question paper have been there, they've put them in this one condensed textbook. And they've given this data, which will tell you exactly how many questions have been asked from how many different years which will help you narrow down this prediction factors of yours. Because you see, if only three questions are going to be coming from a chapter, then you got to be able to understand what are the important topics from that chapter and what are the previous year question papers which have been asked from that chapter. And Oswald books really, really helps you do that. They've also provided an OMR sheet which will help you balance out the OMR filling mistakes and a solution to every single question written in the textbook. So you can have that trust that whatever you're going to write in your mistake book is going to be absolutely correct. And every single student should solve the previous year question papers. And instead of scouring the internet, searching for question papers like 2012 AIPMT question paper, download PDF, you can just buy this one book, which will really help you. I strongly recommend checking it out. There's a link in the description, which you should definitely follow. I wish you all the best for a neat examination. And I really hope that this video added some value to your life. And I really hope that you would be staying consistent with your studies and getting into that dream college. If you did enjoy the video, please consider subscribing because making these videos take up a ton of time, effort and energy to make and subscribing in just two seconds would make up for all of that. Smash the like button on our way out. And thank you so much for watching. It's your boy, I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.